Hello, before I even start this video, I want to say this one thing. This video right here debunks this video that I'm making right now without even trying. So, but just to clarify, I will debunk this on its own. So this is a video of a high altitude balloon that can sometimes reach the highest of 117 feet in the Are air. What time in fact, well, this balloon, this particular balloon reached 114,709 no feet. You know, before hitting the so-called dome. Now, now it's time to break down the video in every single way. At random times, you will hear noises made that can only be chopped down to the turbulence of wind passing the object, the high altitude balloon. And here are some examples of that. It is not scraping on the dome while ge go going up, as people will maybe say as a flat earther. Second, when the balloon reaches the highest point, this happens. Now this is where the Flat Earth Society and the Dome Believers world all comes down. Now at this point you think it will be scraping as seen by Flat Earth and Dome Believers that it is scraping on the dome which is really not which is really not the case. What exact what exactly is happening right here is that given that the high altitude balloon is up to a certain height that the a that the atmospheric pressure the biometric pressure which is fancy word for at atmospheric pressure is so low around the earth here well not hot air balloon around the high altitude balloon which has hot air in it which keeps it from to rise it cannot maintain it any longer in the balloon and the balloon ends up burst and how do you know it's burst well when it bursts and the air molecules come out of the balloon you can see them plain as day in the area and if you slow it down pause the video with the highest rate looking at it it looks like air particles it does not look like it's in water it doesn't look you know here and all those kind of stuff it had the how should i say it? the compounds of air molecule so we know it's that and we have scientific evidence and documentation that prove that but people will say that it crashed Two things you need to focus on here when this was going down at a certain altitude it was falling and it was falling to such a speed that the altitude meter couldn't measure how high it was the longitude and latitude meter wasn't measuring at all until it reached a certain degree that it started to register back again and how you know that the full system was in operation and the whole system wasn't stuck the uh, the atmospheric pressure reader reader was active the whole time so it has to be the fall and there's no way on earth something was gonna fall that much in that weight that drastically it had to be happening over a short period of time which the altitude meter the longitude and latitude measurements weren't picking it up until such time another thing to notice is that even though they say it was up scraping on the dome is not the case we have the balloon that burst up there with evidence that proved that it burst and then it started to fall immediately according to how high altitude balloons are set up is set up with a high altitude on top the parachute mini parachute for the camera as well for an 
camera is falling and they set it up that way because they know that once the high altitude balloon reaches a certain height the balloon will pop parachute is the only thing that they can have to safely make their camera reach back to the ground and it, there's no going around it if it was so to be the case that it hit the dome it doesn't make sense that it will pop that way it will be more likely smash in I guess but let's talk about something else yeah so I guess that's basically it and the many instances that show the curvature of the earth but it's quite miraculous that it's two hour videos and I'll have links to the video and also the timestamp of each event that happened but it's kind of crazy to think that flat earthers would really go through the process of claiming anything that is solid evidence of a dome which is incorrect because you can't be calling a 380,000 feet rocket that went all the way up and saying that is a dome and then coming back to this high altitude balloon that go 100 and one one hundred and fourteen thousand seven hundred and nine feet in the air and say that that is a dome as well make up your mind which one is it and if you read the bible correctly god didn't say he made the ferment in the sky god basically said he made the ferment in the midst of the water at that time god created only one body of water and that was earth because god said in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and the earth was just water and void water alone he didn't say the heavens was water he said the earth was water and then he created a ferment in the midst of the water if you can't really bring yourself to that and you call yourself a true christian i don't know what it, that said you really don't know what to say but let's go start this is just this is just a video debunking what was said it's i'm sorry it took so long i had a lot of things to do i was very busy with work and it's and it's basically my law that every single time somebody else brings up the same video and claims it as evidence i have to debunk it again i'm going to do a full story video of it i have to do a whole lot of fucking I have to do a whole lot of editing on this because the chickens were just in the background it's like all the time interrupting me and they always pick the worst time when I'm recording in order to make noise and they make noise every single day I swear I'm gonna get rid of them I move thank thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy and please do debate me please do try to find some kind of excuse to back up the flat earth claim because if you think you're gonna go into the comment and say something that I do not already know about. You're making a sad mistake, and I'm telling you from now before to save yourself. I'm telling you from now to save yourself from any disgrace or any anything that will make you disbelieve your flat earth.